Okay. You know what's funny? I made a video um, just about five minutes ago. And I went through a bunch of chapters in Isaiah. Just to find out, 20 minutes later or whatever, that my phone was out of memory. So I didn't record any of it. So let's try again. Okay. I want to talk about uh, Isaiah and the subject should be obvious once I, once we get done. Um, okay, let's see. We're going to go backwards in order, just for fun. We're going to start in chapter... Okay, hold on. let me get comfortable here. Okay, we're going to start in chapter 49, um, verse 1. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people, from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me. And he had, er, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me. And said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Um, verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a light thing <clears throat> that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee, give thee, for a light <clears throat> to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Um, verse 10. Uh, they shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them. Um, this is a note for uh, those of you out there who deny Jesus Christ. Um, these are his words. That verse 10 that we just read. And we're going to go to Revelation uh, chapter 7 real quick. Verse 17, I think. We're going to read 15, 16, and 17. Therefore, or actually... We got, you can't ever, uh, we got, we have to understand the context. John just saw 144,000 of the children of Israel, the tribes, 12 tribes, uh, sealed in their forehead. Okay? And then uh, in verse 13 it says, One of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, him Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, these are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sunlight on them nor any heat. For the Lamb, Jesus, the Son of God, the Messiah, for the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Verse 10 in Isaiah 48, or 49, uh, They shall hu not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he, the Lamb, that hath mercy on them, shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them. Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna go we're just gonna go backwards to I just wanna read some verses that uh, uh, seem to me to be important. Chapter forty eight, verse one. <coughs> Excuse me. Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by thy name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth nor in righteousness. For they call themselves the holy city, and stay themselves upon the God of Israel, the Lord of hosts is his name. 
I have declared the former things from the beginning, that they went forth out of my mouth. And I showed them, and I did them suddenly, flat earth, and they came to pass. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is an iron sinew, and thy brow brass. I have even from, listen carefully to this, I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. What did he declare to us in the beginning? Um, creation. Okay. Uh, before it came to pass, I showed it thee, lest thou should say, Mine idol hath done them, and my graven image and my molten image hath commanded them. Do you see what's happening here? Um, he's saying, he's, he's basically saying, you guys are going to say that it's your gods that made all this. And that's what's happening. Um, verse 6. Thou hast heard, see all this, and will not ye declare it? Speaking of, we've got to go to 1 John. Okay, we're witness to all these things. Uh, Romans 1, verses 18 through 25, talks about it too. Um, okay, I forgot where I was going. Um, Where was I going? I just said it too. Um, First John. Sorry, lost my train of thought. Um, okay, I'm going to read three verses right at the beginning of First John, chapter one. That which was from the beginning, that which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled the word of life of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show you unto that eternal life. And show unto you that eternal life, which was with me the fa or with the Father, and was manifested unto us. Sorry. Verse 3. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. Um, and then 1 John 2, uh, verses 24 through 27. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, you also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he had promised us, even eternal life. Um, these things I have written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Okay, I have to pause real quick. Them that seduce you, I'm going to seduce you. Okay, here's a dollar bill, right? You see it? It's a dollar bill. Watch. Fold it, fold it, fold it, and turn it into a hundred dollar bill. How's that? Okay. That is uh, a form of seduction. Uh, deception. Okay, where were we? We were, uh, okay, these things I have written to you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing, the Holy Spirit, which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Okay, back to Isaiah. Um, we were on verse 6. Okay, verse 7. They are created now, and not from the beginning, even before the day when you heardest them not, lest thou shouldest say, Behold, I knew them. Yea, thou heardest not. Yea, thou knewest not. Yea, from that time that thine ear was not opened. For I knew that thou wouldst deal very treacherously and wast called a transgressor from the womb. For my name's sake will I def... <coughs> this is the Lord saying. For my name's sake will I defer mine anger and for my praise will I refrain for thee that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Um, verse 14 of chapter 48 in Isaiah. All ye assemble yourselves in here, which among them hath declared these things? Verse 16. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. 
from the time that it was, there am I, and now the Lord God and his spirit hath sent me. Okay, back, um, let's see here. Um, back to, we're going to skip 46 and 47, I think. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to go to 45. Verse 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Okay, now, chapter 44, verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the watercourses. One shall say, I am the Lord's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. And who, as I shall call, and shall declare it, and set it in the order for me, since I appointed the ancient people? And the things that are coming, and shall come, let them show unto them. Fear not, neither be afraid. Have I not told thee from that time, and have declared it? Ye even are my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. They that make graven images, all of them are vanity, and their delectable things shall not profit. And they are their own witnesses. They see not, nor know, that they may be ashamed. Who hath formed a God, or molten a graven image, that is profitable for nothing? Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen, they are of men. Let them all be gathered together, let them stand up, yet they shall fear, and they shall be ashamed Shame together. All right. Oh, I think there's one little verse here I was going to read. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, now we go to chapter 43. Verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Verse 5. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. I wanted to stop right there real quick um, to make a point. Uh, I hear just about everybody, uh, just about every pastor that I've heard preach on and just about every YouTube video I've seen um, saying that uh, at the end, there's the 144,000 um, are going to be uh, male virgin Jews. Okay, let's break that down a little bit really simply. And let's realize first the reason why they're virgins. The reason why they're virgins is because they were sealed in their forehead. And they stopped defiling themselves with the whore of Babylon and her fornication. They're not drinking that wine anymore. They're not drunk. Because they have been sealed in their forehead. So they can over, they're can they going to overcome the beast in his image. But the rest of the world is going to continue on. Uh, worshiping the beast and his image. Um, okay, that was the virgin's part. What was the other part? Um, I better go back here and find out. <laughs> um... Okay, I don't know what I was... Where were we? We were in 43. Okay. Anyway. Uh, 
daughters, that's what it was. Okay. Uh, in the last days, God's going to pour out his spirit and on his uh, sons and his handmaids. Okay. Just because it says uh, in Revelation 12, uh, there's a man child born, that does not mean it's only males. Okay. What that means is human. Uh, a human child of 144,000 people. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Where were we? We're just going to here. I lose my train of thought really fast. Sorry, I apologize. Okay, verse 9 in chapter 43 of Isaiah. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled uh, who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified, or let them hear and say, it is truth. That's what we're saying. Flat earth is truth. Uh, verse 10. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Um Verse 12, I have declared and have saved and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Um, verse 18, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Flat earth, you want to learn it? You should learn it. It's not something that you can just uh, think, oh, flat earth is just so dumb. No, it's like going to school. Okay, you have to learn it. And it's a... Uh, you have to learn yourself out from underneath Satan's dominion. That's what it is. It takes uh, a lot of study and a lot of research and a lot of faith. Um, verse 21. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Verse 23. Thou hast not brought me a small... or a small cattle of thy burnt offerings, neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor wearied thee with incense. Thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins. Thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. I, even I, and he that blotteth out thy transgressions for mine own sake, and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Um, he's, saying, he's saying, declare it. Be proud of it. We're, we're spreading a message. We're, uh, we're preaching a message. Priests and kings. Okay. Chapter 42. Verse 1, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Verse 4, He shall not fail nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Verse 6, I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee, give thee, for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison and let them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Um, verse 10, sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise from the end of the earth, ye that go down to the sea and all that is there in the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Verse 16, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not, I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images that say to the molten images, Ye are gods. Uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus. Okay? That's what this is talking about. Verse 20. Seeing many things, but thou observest not. Opening ears, but he heareth not. Verse 23. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who will? Will you? I sure hope so. 
Um, that was about all I wanted to talk about. So it's happening in our world today.